YouTube, what's going on? All right, so today we are going to design this, which is a NVG cover. Now it is not the dual NVG lens, but for a single lens. And we will be using TPU eventually to print this out. So next what you're going to want to do is grab some dial cappers and measure this out. Do mind my voice, uh, give you all a heads up, I'm getting over a cold. But first things first, you want to open up and click part. Click OK. And we're going to start with the top plane. I was thinking about front, but top's good since we're going to start off with a circle. So go ahead and click the origin, click the circle, click away, click the check mark, and then next you want to get the smart dimension, and uh, we measured it out to 1.5820, and uh, check mark. Uh, next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to extrude base boss. And the thickness that we got for this was 0.4365 and then green check mark. And there you have your circular piece. Now what you're going to want to do next is you're going to want to click on the circle itself. Right click, click sketch and go off the origin again and now we're going to cut the inside of your NVG cover all right the inside diameter is 1.4725 uh, once that's good green check mark and then you're going to click features go extruded cut and then so you don't want to cut all the way through uh, what you're going to, want to do is uh, get the depth of how deep it is you're going to want to select the blind option and then you're gonna get the depth of what you measured on your NVG cover. And using my dial calipers, I ended up uh, getting 0 0.3560. And this is what I came up with. Not bad looking. All right, just showing y'all going around. All right, so I'm actually going to fill this out. Um, just click the fillet option and uh, I went with a 0 0.05 green check mark and this is how it should look like now with the piece being rounded off uh, or rounded um, I'm actually going to change it so I'm gonna right click the fillet uh, right here and change it to 0.1 to make it just a little bit more rounder and as you can see it it looks a lot better the 0 0.05 was nice but Point one's better. All right, so next, what you're gonna to wanna to do is click this portion, click sketch. Remember, you wanna right click and click sketch. All right. So I have to make the ridges now, and you're just gonna click the origin. Yeah, I'm gonna try a few different things. Uh, right now, I just click the corner rectangle and uh, I like that, so let's see what a center rectangle will do. Ah, that's not too bad, actually. So I went with a center rectangle, and I clicked the origin. And now I'm going to get a smart dimension. So that's going to be measured out as a 0 0.1090. Uh, green check mark it. And then uh, I'm going to get the length. So now that looks good, what you're going to want to do is extrude base boss. Uh, change up the direction and the length of what I have the set at is 0 0.4350 and uh, green check mark once you're done right there and now you have your ridges uh, do mind the commotion in the background this is a work environment right so instead of drawing every one, what I'm going to do is I am going to do a linear sketch pattern. But since this is circular, you just want to click in the linear sketch pattern 
uh, click circular. There's a drop down. And uh, I counted. There is a total of 17 ridges. Now, originally, I counted 15, but I uh, guess I got to get a little bit better at math. <laughs> All right. So, right there, I put uh, 15. And uh, I do go a little bit later, and uh, I added two more. But as you can see right here, I went with 15. Uh, once everything looks good, uh, I don't need to worry about any of the spacing. Uh, just uh, check mark, and then you'll click your uh, blue line right there. And there you have it. You have all your pieces now. Now, like I said, this is 15, but it's actually 17. And you can see here, I'm counting. And you can also go to evaluate as well, just to see how much. All right, so now on my MVG piece, I noticed that I have a little circle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click the circle, right click, click sketch. And from there, um, I'm measuring out with my dial cappers. Click the circle of the origin, green check mark, smart dimension, and the size of my circle is 0 0.04. And actually, uh, if that looks good to you, uh, also make sure you uh, save your work. So I'm gonna do extrude cut in features and through all because I'm going to go through all. And now you have your little hole. And this is actually the first time I'm saving it. Just make sure you always save your work as a great friend of mine says, you might don't forget to save your work. Thanks, Chief Johnson. There you have it, your hole. Now, looking at the uh, NVG cover, it's kind of like a like a slight chamfer, right? This is actually too large, so I'm gonna size it down just slightly, and um, you know, just to get it looking exactly like the original piece. Uh, went with the. Uh... All right, so I'm gonna change up this chamfer to a .005, right? Because that's what the circle has, um, or the hole, excuse me, in the NVG cover. You know, give it a little bit. Of, um, a chamfer if you will it's only on the inside not on the, uh, the back side and uh, here uh, I'm gonna change up my circle hole uh, I did point point zero zero four um, it's a little too small so what you'll see here is um I actually went back and I gave it a point zero three and that looks about right Zero zero four was a little too small. All right. My right, blue check mark. Everything looks good. Let's pan it around, and uh, the MVG cover is coming to life. All right. So next up, since I made those ridges, now I have to fillet them because if you look at it, it, it kind of curves over. So what you're going to do is click the fillet option. And click right here, and you'll see that your your uh, the bars that go across the ridges uh, will have this bend, and uh, you want to click them from all of them. Uh, you can do a point one, and they'll look decent. Uh, you'll see it after I click the green check mark. Just make sure you click every one of them. Going around, and then here you have it. So one of them, you see that um, I didn't fill it. It I, I will go back. Other than that, you see how smooth it is, and um, that's what you want. If it if it doesn't go over like that, you have to go back and fix it, or else you won't have a piece that looks somewhat identical to what you're designing. 
All right, next, so I'm going to make the tie down piece for the NVG cap, and I'm going to click the corner rectangle and go off the corner here. Uh, I did click line and make that little box first uh, as a reference. And uh, what you want to do is um, delete that box. That way you don't run into sketch problems. All right, next up, I'm going to smart dimension this, uh, point 33.40, uh, green check mark. Uh, that is for the length of your piece. And once you have done that, the green check mark, actually, I'm going to go back. Uh, it's going to be 32 and uh, 25. And uh, once that looks good, um, you're going to... Uh, I'm just looking around right now, sorry. Uh, just to make sure that uh, it's where I want it. Uh, green check mark. All right. So now I'm going to do a three part arc and I'm going to go from here. Uh, once I click it to here. And you can just click it just like that. And uh, you can trim that. Uh, trim entities and then uh, now I just want to get the distance just to make sure it's correct uh, green check mark and uh, of course the distance from that end to that end so uh, what I did here was um, I got the that centerpiece distance uh, ended up deleting that uh, didn't actually need that right and now as you can see your piece sits on top which it actually needs to be flush with the ridge of the mg cap so what you're going to do is you're going to go back in the extrude base boss option by just right clicking it and uh, i'm going to change the direction of where it goes down so i'm going to green check mark this just to show y'all uh, why it cannot be like this. So it's too easy to literally just go back in it right here like that, right click, and uh, you see that? And change direction there. And this is exactly how it should be, flush just like that. And um, I will then get the thickness of uh, how thick the tie down piece is. Take that off. Um, so I measured it. Uh, it's a 0 0.07. And uh, green check mark. And let's see how it looks. I'm going to pan it around. Now, if you notice, it's a little thin compared to the actual piece. So I'm going to go back in here and actually change it. I'm going to go back into my sketch, uh, right click, edit sketch, and I'm going to get a smart dimension. I'm going to actually dimension this piece right here, which is uh, 0.28. And as you can see, it's a lot bigger, which matches the actual piece. And I'm going to click the blue check. Everything looks good. Now, what I need to fix is my hole, just to make that. And uh, my hole is actually 0.15. And check mark, look at that. That looks a lot better and actually a lot like the actual NVG cap uh, tie down piece. Now you see it. Uh, a few details I noticed that um, I'm going to click fill it right here. And uh, right here on where the tie down piece is, it's, it's filleted. It on the the front and uh, also in the corners you'll see here where i fill it again um it just you know it's the little details that matter so i'm gonna click the both and um, just fill it them and it, it looks exactly like the actual piece if you will and then uh you know 
I was thinking about getting the inside ridges, but uh, like I said uh, earlier, I don't uh, really think that they matter. Now, when I do print this, uh, print this out to test it, uh, that will be a determining factor. So we'll see. If uh, they do need it, it's too easy to just go back in here and create some uh, inside ridges. So what I did notice with my piece is that uh, I'm going to click fill it again. And I have one more piece that I forgot to fill it. Uh, one more ridge, excuse me. So now everything is all smooth. And uh, there you have it. Um, a completed NVG cap. All right, it is now complete with everything minus now the insides have these um indentions as well and i don't think they need them when they're in or covered on the uh nvg but uh we'll see anyways let me do some panning and that way y'all can see it and uh i'll say this uh came out decent i'm actually uh I'm excited. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching. I appreciate y'all. And I'll catch y'all next time.